Hey, do you love Google Slides? I love Google Slides, but I also want to be interactive. I don't want to just stand up and do all the talking. And so what I want to do is sometimes pause and I want to have my students talking to each other, have a little discussion with their elbow partner or people with their group. So I'll say, okay, I'm setting a timer for three minutes and then we're going to come back and discuss. Or maybe in my presentation, I just want to make sure that I don't talk for too long on a particular slide. I need to keep the pace going. So setting a timer with Google Slides though is tricky. Like how do you do that? Well, I have the solution. We're going to use Slides Timer. So Slides Timer is a Chrome extension. It is in the Chrome Web Store. You can actually just Google search it. That's what I do. I do Slides Timer, Chrome extension, and you can just get it right that way. Let's take a look. So I'm in a Google search, I'm going to do Slides Timer Chrome extension and you can see it comes right up that you can go ahead and install it. It is free, it's just a really easy way to add a timer to your slides presentation and I'm talking about when you're in presentation mode and you just need to have a timer. So you can see I have some Google Slides right here and I have added this countdown timer. Now what's really neat is it's just a text box. Like it's, it's literally just a text box. I mean it doesn't get any easier than that. It's a text box. So I type less than, less than, greater than, greater than, and I put the time period that I want to count down within that anywhere on the slide in a text box. And it's just going to work. It's going to be like magic. Check this out. So now I have installed this Chrome extension. You can see it is up here in my Chrome extension shelf, but actually I don't need to touch that at all. It's just kind of like hanging out there. I don't need to click on it. I simply need a text box in Google Slides and I put in less than, less than, greater than, greater than, put my time in the middle of that. And when I'm in presentation mode, the timer is just going to go off because that Chrome extension is going to do its magic behind the scenes. You don't need to touch it. You don't need to look at it. All right, so let's give it a try. I'm just going to go in my slides and I'm going to click here on slide show. Now I'm not going to just click slide show. I'm going to do presenter view, but I'm only doing that for the purpose of this video. So you can see it opens in a tab and immediately that countdown timer is going. So I'm at 52 seconds, 51 seconds. I just have a quick and easy timer in my slides. Like literally who doesn't need this because did I mention I just need a text box? So I'm going to go escape and I'm going to add another slide. So let's say I'm doing something important. I say important info and I have my whole slide. Now, while it's important info, I don't want to talk for too long. So I'm going to budget myself one minute and 30 seconds. So I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to do a regular old text box. Text box, I'm going to put up here in the corner. I'm going to do less than, less than, 1 colon 30, greater than, greater than. I'm just going to tuck that up there in the corner because that's for me. It's not for my audience. I'm just trying to make sure I don't talk too long. All right, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to presenter view. You can just click presentation mode. You don't have to do it in presenter view. It's just a different style. So you see here I've got 56, 55 seconds. Now I go to the next slide. Aha, look up here. Yes, 125, 124. The timer did not start until I hit that slide. Let's check that out again. Okay, so I'm gonna escape. So I'm at one minute. Now you can just, again, you can just hit slideshow. You don't have to do it. Just my screen capture won't capture the whole screen right now. So I'm gonna do presenter view. Okay, 59, 58, 57. You can see it's counting down, this is on slide one. I have a timer on slide two, but it's not started. It's not started. So I'm at 48 seconds. Now watch, I'm going to go to the next slide. Hovering here, I'm going to go to the next slide and you're going to see it's going to be at 130 and 130, 128, 127. It doesn't start till I get on there. So each slide can have its own timer. So I'm thinking like, how am I going to pace my lesson? I want to spend three minutes giving them some information, then I want to give the students a discussion prompt, and they're going to have five questions, seconds, five seconds, they're going to have five minutes to discuss it with their elbow partner, and then we're going to come back and we're going to discuss it together with the class for three minutes, and then I have a few more slides that I want to go over and we're going to repeat. So I'm going to pace this out because I know that I have 48 minute period, 
I want to make sure that I get everything during that time. So then on each slide, I can add a text box that says this is how much time I'm allotting to this portion of the lesson. How much effort do I have to put in during the lesson? You know, normally what I do is what I normally do is I open up a new, so uh, new tab and I type in Oh, look at that. I've got a YouTube video that I can use to start watching my three minute timer. I, this is such a hassle. I could set a timer. I have a manual timer. I got to remember how many minutes I wanted it for. I got to take the time to set it. Shoot, Slides Timer just has it built in there. I don't have to think about this at all. Just wherever it is in my presentation that I need some sort of a timer, boom, I add a text box. Less than, less than, greater than, greater than. But wait, there's more. There's actually like a whole bunch of tricks that you can do so that you can do the timers differently. So check out this one. I'm gonna come back over here, escape, I'm gonna add a new slide. Now, if I do less than, less than four minutes and 12 seconds, okay, center view, you can see it starts counting down from four minutes and 10 seconds, so I can set it exactly the way that I want it. But what if I put a plus sign on there. All right, so pay attention. It's exactly the same, except I put a plus sign after the time. And so when I do a plus sign after the time and I go to presenter view, all right, look at that. It started at 412 and now it's counting up. So by default, it's a countdown timer, but all you have to do is you just put that little plus sign in there, add a plus sign and it's a count up timer. Now there's some other tricks that you can do also. So let's take a look at some of the other things that I can do. I can do where I put in less than, less than, T-I-M-E, time. Okay, and again, you could do this in any text box, any font, any font size. Like, I'm gonna get all crazy here. I'm gonna make this size 72 and make it pink. Okay, so I put time in between the less than, less than, greater, greater than. I'm gonna go ahead into presenter view and just like magic, there it is. That's what time it is right now. It is 3.31 where I'm at and I just have a clock. I just put less than, less than. I type the word time. It automatically knows what time it is. It is first period, it's gonna show the time during first period. Seventh period, it's gonna show the time during seventh period. Zero effort, friends, because it's a Chrome extension. So long as I'm doing this in Chrome and I have the slides timer, Chrome extension installed, it's just going to work. I don't need to click on anything. I don't need to think about anything. Like, huge. My timer's going off. Okay, let's look at that. That is on the YouTube timer. I'm like, what the heck? Slides timer doesn't do that to me. <laughs> Right, when I go to the next slide, it automatically stops that timer and each timer on each slide stands alone. Okay, let's look at another trick that we can do. So remember I stuck in there the time and in this time I'm gonna put in less than, less than, and I'm gonna put date greater than, greater than. Okay, and let's see what that looks like. And there we go, it shows the date. Why would you wanna show the date? Actually, it's really cool, because if you're doing some sort of a recording, and then it would automatically, when you are doing a screen share, show what the date is that you're doing the screen share, and then you'd never have to adjust it like every time you're doing that presentation. So, you know, I'm a teacher. I'm gonna use the same slides, I'm gonna make some adjustments to them, but I'm gonna reuse them. So the ones that I did last year versus doing it again this year that I can tell when I made that recording when I did that presentation. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's try one. All right. I'm just going to add a few slides in here and I'm going to say one, two, three. Okay, so on this two slide, I am... Okay, so this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do less than, less than, zero, zero, colon, 10, so I get 10 seconds, and then I'm gonna do a countdown, and then I'm gonna advance to the next slide. So I do minus plus, greater than, greater than. So these plus minuses, if I just do one plus, it's gonna do a count up timer, but now what I'm gonna do is it's gonna do a countdown timer, that's what the minus does, and the plus is gonna advance the slide. So notice that I'm on slide two. 
So let's take a look, go to presenter view. See it's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, slide 3. It advanced automatically for me after the timer. Whoa. <laughs> Tell me you can't use that. You could totally use that. It's so helpful. And all you have to do is add any text box and just kind of like, else am I supposed to remember all of those things? Great question. That's where the Chrome extension comes into play. If you click on the Chrome extension, you don't really need to, but you can. If you do that, you'll notice it gives you all of these tips for the different things that you can do using Slides Timer. So go ahead and take a look at those shortcuts. Now you'll notice that you can buy Clay a coffee. He is providing this for free. He is a super cool guy. He's an educator and it, it's buy him a coffee. He put a lot of effort into this. He shares it out for free. So I would encourage you to encourage him to keep making you free stuff because we all need Slides Timer.